so when, when I get a character uh, assignment at work, uh, I will definitely start out with a concept. Maybe not this clean. A lot of things I get are, are pretty, pretty loose. Um, the first thing I end up doing when I get an assignment is taking my concept and doing a little bit of evaluation of what it is uh, I'm assigned to do. So in this case, I'm just going to pretend this is my concept as I don't have it with me. Um, kind of decide what parts coming into it are going to be hard surface and what parts are going to be uh, sculpted completely. Um, and clearly the fleshy bits of this guy are going to be all involved in the sculpting process, at least for anatomy, for, for anatomy's sake. Um, so the initial, the initial model that I'll do will be a pretty straightforward uh, Gumby model. And it'll be the whole thing. It's going to be the entire character. Uh, I'll do extrusions, extrusions for the arms and uh, maybe sculpt in the, the plates and everything just as a, a cursory <laughs> yeah, most of my characters do start up pink. Um, this is, do you think I'm going to actually see this here? I don't know. We'll try it. So yeah, I'll, I'll start out I'll start out with a, a basically a, a Gumby model from Max or a Z-Sphere model that will represent the bigger forms, so make sure I have all the parts in it. And what I'll do is actually I'll sculpt in such a way that uh, once I know, like, I mean, coming into this, I, I kind of know at a certain point how much of this I'm going to have to sculpt versus actually... Um, model, but uh, so what ends up happening is I break it down, and then when I go into ZBrush, in this case, here's an example of a quick Gumby model. You know, I started this pretty. Uh, Might have been from uh, some other random muscle man that I'd done. Um, the legs look like they were modeled a little bit before I brought them in, but uh, what ends up happening is I end up starting out from something simple. So in this case. When I brought it in initially, I uh, what I actually did for this character is because the concept was in a kind of a wacky perspective, I uh, I put it in the viewport in Max and brought a biped, uh, the Character Studio biped in, sort of placed it in the same position to fill out the 3D space that I wanted. Um, it's a little bit easier to to fill out those forms once you've got it posed in uh, in that 3D spot. So posed him and then built some noodle meshes over the top of it. You can see I took those models I already had. Like the, the chest was clearly like a model I'd done before. Um, and worked worked them over the top to be in that pose a little bit to fill out fill out the shape that I want to cover later. Um, and from there, uh, there's refinement and there I I'll add in multiple uh, multiple meshes for like in the next case I think I believe I, I add the head and do a pretty quick quick sculpt of the head um, so yeah so I've added the head in and just really gesturing it in to the space that I want it to be in um, these are all really quick models none of this none of this this is probably from a sphere it looks like so put a sphere in the, the scene and started sculpting over that uh, that mesh and sort of put it in the spot that I thought it would be uh, the most appropriate. These are all really quick. So I mean, I expect when I at this point when I make these these massings, I expect to spend maybe maybe an hour of my day um, when I start a character initially breaking out and continuing to refine. In this case, now I've I've kind of combined all the meshes together into one single mesh, so I can work from that. You can see, like I said, I never really push this too far. It's more like a sketch, a, a thumbnail or so. Um, where is? And so here, I've taken that mesh that I'd, I'd done, and from the concept, decided to 
first of all, change this god awful material um, from the concept, take it and break out the pieces that are important to me into this kind of mushy mesh. Um, I know where the plates are going to be now, and what I can do once I've gestured them is take those into what I did a little bit of a being between my model and the sculpt that I'd done and the concept that I was given uh, to try and knock out the proportions a little bit more. Uh, and that's not necessarily something you have to do every time, but in the case of this scenario, it was an art test. I didn't have someone sitting next to me that I could ask a question about you know, how big they should be. Or didn't really have a real frame of reference for how big these guys are. So I, I went in Photoshop and placed a layer and turned it on and off and decided that there wasn't enough mass in the shoulders. So if you look at this versus this, you can see the the difference in their size, just a little bit of mass to them. I thought they should be thicker, uh, which is followed by the same model, but then I've reproportioned the the hard surface models to fit over this mesh. Uh, so here's the current state of this model. I went and re-sculpted a big portion of the face, made it a little bit more grizzled. Um, actually, this is not the exact same model as what's in Max right now. This is as I turned it in, basically. I haven't touched this model since I turned it in two years ago, three years ago, whatever it was. Um, but actually, I've been as I've been using this model for demos, I've been re-sculpting parts, cleaning up those skulls and the chest and doing a little bit more detailing. Um, but yeah, so like I said, a big portion of, of the process is knowing what to model, what to sculpt, and where to do all of those things, whether the modeling is in Topo Gun to, to make quick plates over a surface you've already sculpted, or it's in Max and you're doing hard surface models to, to make these rings and things like that. Uh, it's a big part of the process. So it's definitely a, a portion that will be gone over in the class at large. But, oh hey, IRC. So yeah, and this, en this ends up being the, the, final, mo the final model. Um, this is actually a pretty garbagey low res mesh, but uh, I kind of cheated a little bit because it was an art test, so I reduced it after I posed it a little bit. And uh, actually, this doesn't look like the posed mesh. I definitely posed it and then reduced it to the 3000 or whatever that was required, which is why these faces are pretty terrible. But, uh, this guy is about, I think he's 3,000, 3,500, something like that. 30, yeah, 35 was the, the limit. And currently our, our creature res for Guild Wars 2 is, it, our guideline is 3,500, but pretty much we go to probably about 5 or 6 very often now, so the, the actual count changes pretty much creature to creature. Um, yeah, I know. I know most of you know, you know what where this all goes. But there's a a number of maps. There's a base map for the diffuse, which is just pretty flat, flat lighting. There's an alpha mask for my my cutouts, the normals, which are a combination of crazy bump for the fur and leather textures and metal textures to to just straight sculpting. And actually, like I said, you can see here in the face that I've pretty heavily re-sculpted that over the, the various uh, seminars and things I've done using this guy as an example. So that's something I'll probably re-render and get back into this. But uh, So lost my train of thought here. There's a spec map, which honestly pretty garbagey, but they didn't give me any uh, specifications on spec and gloss and everything. So all that stuff is basically just questionable. Um, so yeah, pretty garbagey spec map. Uh, none of which really displays well in this viewport, but I don't really have a great max viewport shader. So anyway, what I want to do is lay down, and so that's the process of me getting through a creature. 